All right, today I'm going to show you how to properly do a pre-trip on the electronic device called PeopleNet. First, you want to start by going to driver e-log, which will be the second icon on the first row if you're at the home screen. Quick way to tell if you're at the home screen, the house will be gray and the back button will be gray because we're already home and there's nowhere to go back. So I'm going to go ahead and tap driver e-driver log. From e-driver log, you want to go to this first icon, which says duty status. If you go here to the inspection guy, it will not place you on duty. And I'm getting a lot of drivers that's doing a pre-trip incorrectly by going to inspection. First, you have to go to duty status. From duty status, you will look down to the bottom row. All of these icons on the bottom row will put you on duty. So by me pressing inspect, it's going to prepare me to go on duty. But before it put me on duty, it's going to ask me, are my previous logs true and correct? So you always want to say yes. If you say your logs are not true and correct for the previous day, you can get a citation from a DOT officer. So we're going to go here and press yes. All right, from here, this is the confirmation screen. So it's taking me from sleeper birth to on duty, and the remark is leaving is inspect. If that's what you want, you go to the bottom of the screen and press OK. And this is what I want at this time. So I'm going to hit OK. All right, from this screen, you want to always go to new. Don't worry about existing, always go to new. Now, what type of inspection are you doing at the time? We're doing a pre-trip, so I'm gonna go ahead and press pre-trip. From here, this is the only place on the log you need to put your first and last name. Nowhere else on, these, on the electronic log you need to put a first and last name but here. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my first and last name, bear with me. All right, after you put your first and last name, you want to come down to trailer number and enter the trailer number that you're inspecting at the time. If you don't have a trailer, then you can just go ahead and put Bobtail in the trailer field. But I'm going to pretend I have a trailer and I'm going to put 53799. And the last question is asking, are there any defects found? If you found any defects, you want to say yes. If you didn't find any defects, then go ahead and say no. And that'll be the end of the DBIR form. But if you do find any, any defects, sorry, it is more columns will pop up for you to detail a defect. And I'll show you here how this works. So I'm going to go here, defects found, and I'm going to say no first. As you see, no more columns popped up. Now I'm going to switch that no to a yes. Now you see more columns pop up for you to detail a defect. And when you fill this out, it goes straight to the shop. So the shop instantly knows what's wrong with the truck or trailer if you list any defects. So I'm gonna go here and I'm gonna say, let's say there's nothing wrong with the tractor, but I do have a defect on the trailer. Let's say the lockbox on the trailer is broken or is something wrong with the lockbox. You wanna detail that defect, but that won't put you out of service. Now watch this, tractor defect, no. Trailer defect, yes trailer out of service the lockbox won't put you out of service so i'm gonna say no trailer defect detail so here it has some pre-selected um places um, stock, um categories you can select and i'm gonna stroll down and i'm going to select doors because the lockbox is attached to the doors then i'm gonna come here to remarks and that's where you would detail a defect Oops. All right, here I just said lockbox, but you want to be more detailed. Whatever's wrong with the lockbox, that's what you want to put in remarks. Then you go here to the last column, and it's asking you, are there any more defects? Nothing else is wrong with my truck or trailer, so I'm going to go ahead and say no. Now, if you did have additional effects or defects, anything else wrong with the trailer or truck, you would go here and say yes, and that way you can detail the other defects you found. But I'm going to go back and select no more defects, and that'll be the end of my pre-trip. Now, you want to set this form up and then get off the truck and really do a pre-trip. As you can see now, i only been on duty for two minutes. So if I say done to my pre-trip now, and I will be in violation. You have to do at least 11 minutes. Anything under 11 minutes, the machine won't even take. So it'll read as you didn't even do the pre-trip. So I'm just going to assume we hit... 11 minutes now, and I'm gonna go to the bottom of the screen and press done. And that's it, that's all. That's the way you properly do a pre-trip.